Hello, I'm Diane, queen of stained glass quilts with detailsbydiane.com. This is me. If you go to my website, www.detailsbydiane.com, you will see that picture and it looks just like me. Now, see, I decided to do a caricature because there's nothing worse than if I take a picture of myself, don't get around to taking a picture of myself for another 10 years, and you say, what? I can't even recognize her. Is that her? Isn't that her? This way, I always look the same. So you're saying, why am I wearing this honkin' crown? because I'm queen of stained glass quilts. I have so much information for you, you are going to be excited. Now I thought today I'd just share some of my favorite things that I really, really love. One of my go-to awesome ideas is to take a piece of foam core. Now you can get foam core at Walmart, uh, probably Target. What it is is it's for picture framing and it's two pieces of paper with some foam in the middle. That's why it's called foam core. Really lightweight, doesn't give you any arm muscles or anything, but you wanna get a piece of this because here's what I do. I make the most awesome pressing surface. What I do is I take my foam core and I'm going to la first lay a piece of heavy duty aluminum foil over the top. Why? Because if I use steam in my iron, it's going to go straight to the paper and get it all crinkly and weird, and that's not a good thing. So lay some heavy-duty aluminum foil, then just take some felt, lay it over the top, roll it to the back, use some duct tape, and that's it. You can make a pile of these. You can have them right next to your sewing machine as an ironing surface. You could put together my patterns on here because I make patterns that look like stained glass but they're really easy. You can even cut them in half and make small pieces. And you know as you're piecing things, it's a really good idea to have these because you can lay out your pieces, you can stack them up, they're lightweight, you can put them on a shelf, put them to the side for storage and get something done. Come on, we need to get a whole pile of things done. Another thing I love, I love my little quick line too. And that's because it's not very long. So when I'm tracing and tracing borders and everything on my patterns, I'm able to use this little quick line. Now, some of you have probably heard this hint, but I love to take some adhesive backed sandpaper and just put some little dots on the back. And that way it doesn't go wonky on you everywhere. That's a great idea. That's why I'm queen of stained glass, I'm so smart. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna tell you something. I just read that one out of 10 people steals. Yes, that is true, one out of 10 people steals. So I would advise you never to invite more than nine people over at a time to your house. That is queenly wisdom. Okay, the next thing. This is called the Ruby Beholder. Now you can get this in quilt shops and we don't sell it on our website anymore, but it's awesome, I'll tell you why. It's a piece of red plastic. Now what this shows you is values. Now I can see that some of you have no values, but that's for another longer video. As red as this plastic is, it eliminates color. So let's say that you just cannot figure out what colors to put in a quilt. It's not about the colors, honey. It's about values, lights, mediums, and darks. When you look through the ruby beholder at your fabric, your lights will be a sizzly, fluorescent-y color, your mediums will be gray, and your darks will show as black. As long as you have your lights, mediums, and darks in a quilt, it doesn't matter what color it is. Think of scrap quilts, how awesome they look. That's because they have the lights, mediums, and darks. And haven't you all been to a quilt show and there's been this beautifully made quilt, but it just doesn't sing? Well, it doesn't have the correct values. So this can be a great tool to use, and I know a lot of you have it and have never used it because nobody taught you how. Now you know, can't claim ignorance anymore. Another thing I love, these little clips, they're a little black clip with prongs on the back. Now I used some insulation board, put some felt on it, that's my design board. I use these little clips and what they do is just stick right in there. You know what these are for? The dividers in office areas. Duh! That's really easy. I got black ones because I get a lot of things that are black and since I do things that look like stained glass, but you can get white and probably other colors. Great thing to have. Favorite cutting scissors, K-A-I, Kai scissors. They're kind of rubbery on where your fingers go, but I can cut for a long, long period of time and that's really great to have. My little snippers, love these gingers, made in Italy. Oh yeah, I'm so transcontinental. 
Love these because I can just snip and I don't have to put my hands through the holes at all so I can get snipping done faster. But last but not least, maybe one of my favorite things is my little peephole. Now you're going to say, a peephole? What's a peephole? You know what you put in your door and you look and say, oh yeah, okay, the pizza guy's here. That's what the peephole is. You can go to a hardware store and get a peephole. What it does is it draws back whatever's in front of it. So you're able to use your design board, place your pieces up there, and you can look through your peephole, even if you have a tiny studio, and you can stand back and use this and it moves it back and you're able to see if you've got the right colors, if you've made a mistake. Now we did want to sell these on our website and I asked my jester husband Lowell, could you look up peepholes and, and find out where we can buy them in bulk and we can sell them to people because this is a great thing to have in your studio. And he came in and he said, I promise me you'll never do this. And I said, do what? And he said, just promise me you'll never do this. And I said, what? And he said, don't ever type peephole in Google. So I think he saw things that he just should not have seen and he doesn't want me to see them either. So don't type peephole in Google. Go down to your hardware store and say, I need one of those things to go in the door that's a peephole and they'll know what you're talking about. And that's like great information. It's going to make your day. Go out and get these things. It's going to make your life easier because you need to make my patterns. Easy stained glass. That's what it looks like. Fused pieces on black fabric. www.detailsbydiane.com. Come visit me. Bye.